really exciting to be here on the first day of the third edition of the uh, multi hill Cup, uh, Port Adriano. Uh, conditions are looking good for the racing, forecast is uh, for uh, light to moderate breeze and uh, the same competitors are back another year, so all friends, uh, an amazing regatta last year and really looking forward to fantastic sailing this year uh, here in Mallorca. It's going to be great fun. As a team, I mean, we are very satisfied after the racing today. Conditions were not so difficult, but we were also glad to see a breeze building up to half those 12 knots. It was a little bit more fresh. We've done the event twice. This is our third time. Um, we came, with a, came to the event with a view to sailing cleanly. And we basically had a drag race out to the left with Allegra, who are always our main competition here. And then we got to the Windward Mark, they carried on and they really opened the door for us and let us in back into the race. And then we got into the pressure that was going right. And from then on we were just boat speed, boat speed, boat speed and just trying to sail away from them. And we thought they'd come back being the bigger, heavier boat, but we just kept extending. So, You know, when the wind filled in, I'm not sure we did a particularly good job of, uh, of, of staying with Coco at that point. So. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll regroup and uh, have another crack at it tomorrow. The Seabin project came about from coming to venues like this and seeing we have a problem in our waterways. And it's great to actually come here to the Multi Hole Cup where the owners have purchased the Seabin and have donated it to, to this area. It, it really is a pleasure being here, seeing the clean wave with the, with the water system and the sea bin working together to make this a greener regatta. A real pleasure to, to say here with Dragon because uh, even if it's a cruising boat, uh, at first it's a high performance boat for you. You feel the acceleration, you feel the, the way the boat is sailing well or not and uh, it's uh, really easy to, to raise the boat because it's very easy to handle. That's, but that was the design brief of the owner when uh, we started the, the, the design of the boat. There's a lot of time and effort's gone into, into making them fast with big foils and big roaches on mainsails. Carbon you know, is everywhere and to make the boat lighter, stiffer, faster. And that's really different to most standard catamarans. So all of that combined together with a kind of super lightweight luxury interior for me it's like it, you know it sums up the, the coolest thing about yachting possible can perform a great fun uh, a great extreme feeling especially when we have the conditions uh, over 15 knots, 15 knots then we can fly a hole we can go very fast now and, and then everything gets really exciting you know there's there's nothing quite like going downwind at 25 knots and someone passing you an espresso the amount of distance we can cover in one day uh, and then you come to events like this and you're racing against similar boats the camaraderie between the crews the racing is very tight the boats are obviously going pretty fast We did a lot of progress because we, the third time we came here with the same crew, it's family crew, it's not professional crew, and each year we, we, we are sailing better and uh, we saw that in the results. We end uh, last the first year, second year we did better and today we, we are tied with, uh, with uh, Coco and uh, the day will be uh, tough to know exactly uh, who, is, uh, who will be the winner. Sailing was fantastic, it was close, nail-biting, drama. We didn't know where we were going to finish at the end, unfortunately we were second. Well, I think the key to our success uh, for this regatta was some good improvements with our crew work and tactically we were more familiar with the area and um, yeah, we, we, we think we sailed pretty well.